All right. Hello and welcome. This is Talami Danner and this is lifecoach.com, our website. I don't know if you know me. Most people know me as the author of Coach Yourself Success, which has been around mm -hmm. since 2000. So um, welcome for those of you who've never met me before, Talami Danner. And today we have a special guest here today and it's Dave Buck. Now Dave Buck, nice. I've known for ages. <laughs> yes. He's one of the early coaches like me. We were around way, way, way back when, when Thomas Leonard was just starting coach training. Mm -hmm. um, and and I've known Dave now for over 20 years. I know. It's crazy, <laughs> right? A long time. And Dave yeah. Buck is the owner and of Coachville.com. Coachville is one of the top training programs for coaches in the world. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So if you're looking for coach training, and that's why I've got Dave here. I wanted to talk about, because so many people ask me, well, you know, how do I become a coach? Uh, yes. how, you know, is, is that still a viable business? Can you actually create an income from coaching anymore? Is the market saturated? A lot of people want to know that. And people want to know, um, you know, what is the right coach training course to go to? Right. So I thought today we could answer those questions. So I've got Dave here. Yes. Dave, would you like to say hello? Hello and uh, hello everyone. It's great to be with you. And you know, Tulane has such a great school with, um, with lifecoach.com. And it's so important because when you experience a great personal growth program, like the ones at lifecoach.com, many times then folks think, wow, I want to learn how to do this. I want to help other people do this. So it's a natural flow of having some great, experiencing some great coaching and then wanting to become a coach. So it's a great one, two combination. Yeah. And I think that's how I actually got into coaching myself was I hired a coach when I was working at Chase Manhattan Bank in New York City and very yes. frustrated in my career thinking, oh, there has to be something better yes. out there than for me than the, banking. The no, corporate that grind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, is this all that's that, you know, is this all that there has to be something better? Yes. And I just didn't know what, and I kept getting sent to recruiters who would send me to other financial institutions, investment banks. It's more of the same thing I'd been doing. And I knew that wasn't it. That wasn't it for me, but I didn't know yes. what was the right. right. So that's when I hired a coach. And I, you know, my coach was working for me for about, a, about a year. And I still didn't think I could become a coach. He was the one who suggested, hey, Tulane, you know, you could be a good coach. And to me, what he was doing was magical. And he said, well, you got to get into the coach training course. And this was all when it was brand new. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. So there were only two coach, coach training courses in existence at that time. I know. I know. I went, we went to the same one. So <laughs> one out of two. <laughs> yeah, that was it's Coach true. You at that time. Yeah. So, yes. you know, at that point, Coachville didn't exist yet. Um, so it was Coach Training Institute and Coach you at that time yes. and those were the only two coach training programs everything was so new and when i started thomas leonard had started it and he said to lane you know as soon as you take seven classes i want you to lead classes <laughs> you know, so, right. so basically i became a teacher teaching people how to coach and kind of co-creating with thomas leonard at that time the whole coach profession as it was yes so all very exciting and we were all in this together with you know creating stuff making um the coast courts training courses up at the whole time that's right the attraction program was one of your babies which is a uh, like a global success yes so, <laughs> yeah, it's true it's true it's awesome so yeah and so the thing is now we're down the road 23 24 years and coaching is an amazing profession to get into and you know we do happen to be recording this video during the COVID-19 pandemic which is yeah a very challenging time for humans all around the earth and at the same time, when you have great challenge, you have great opportunity. And that's why I think this is so profound because so many people were all in this quarantine lockdown and people are starting to wonder, what do I really want to do with my life? What am I really here for? And people, we keep talking, oh, going back to normal. And most people are thinking, you know, normal wasn't that good for me. I wasn't yeah. joyful. I wasn't happy. I wasn't feeling fully self-expressed. So this is, there's two sides of this puzzle. One side is you might be thinking, wow, I really want to do something valuable. And I also want to help other people do something valuable. And coach training puts you right in that sweet spot. Because when you take coach training, firstly, you grow as a person really fast. It's transformational yeah 
becoming a coach, as Tulane can also share with you, becoming a coach is a transformational experience. And then coaching other people to guide them in their personal transformation, whether it's for business, leadership, personal growth, all of these endeavors of human life, you, you don't want to go alone. This is the big thing that we're finding is so much of life has been oriented around do it yourself. And really the truth is as human beings, we're here to play together. And that's what coaching is all about, playing together with someone to help them play their life better and then really create the value in the world they're here to create. Yeah, absolutely. So Dave, what do you think now? I, I know a lot of people ask me, I said, well, is there, is this still a viable business now? Mm -hmm. Is there an opportunity for people? Can you make a living doing coaching or is the market saturated? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. It, there is absolutely a huge opportunity it, the market is far from saturated. If, if, if my vision in life is that every human being has a great coach. So that means we need a lot more coaches, you know, and we need coaches in all different fields. You know, like I said, there's leadership and there's business and there's personal growth. And there's so many other things that people want to do, spiritual quest, so many things that there is an opportunity for who knows, millions of coaches, and we don't have millions yet. So there is plenty of space for you. And we need coaches in, you know, all different realms of life. You know, coaching, I think in the early days, it became sort of exclusive for the elite. You know, it was like executive coaching was like the thing and only people that were really well off could hire a coach, but that's not the way it is anymore. Now with, with the with the internet and there's so many different ways of reaching people, you can have a thriving coaching business that is awesome for people that are not millionaires, but are just regular people, but they can afford life coaching. And that's, that's where we need it to be. It's a huge opportunity for real. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, that's good to hear. And I think people need to hear that, um, you know, that there is still that opportunity. And I, I like your vision because it reminds me of Bill Gates' vision of having a computer on every desk right. running Microsoft <laughs> software. You know, that's he's right. got like a massive vision. It's yeah. Like, we can't fault you for having a, a, a tiny vision. Yeah, no, I do not, I'm not known for tiny vision. No, I have a big dream and we need everyone to jump in. And, you know, one other thing, Tilene, I want to share that's important. A lot of people come for coach training and they have the idea of becoming a professional coach, but it turns out not everyone is really suited for that. So, you know, self entrepreneurial adventure, but what happens is when you learn coaching skills, you can become an amazing coach approach, leader, coach approach, parent, coach approach, manager, coach approach, entrepreneur, the coaching skill set is the essential skills of the 21st century. So no matter what you do with it, it will serve you very well. I, I have to just ditto what you say there, Dave, because I, you know, my take on the investment in coaching is that you can't really go wrong with it yeah. because it's a personal growth and training development course. Yes. And as you become a better coach, that means you're a better listener. That means you're better at advising and giving people advice. It means you're better at challenging people. Can you be, imagine being a parent and having the right way to challenge your kids or That's right. a, a boss who doesn't want to come across as dictatorial, but still wants to challenge and move their team forward. That's so right. Having that coaching approach is, is exactly what's called for right now in every yes. area of our life, business, personal, professional, exactly. you know, exactly understanding our personal and emotional needs, understand what our core values are. All this is the stuff that, you know, is the work of coaching, you know, and, and what Correct. I focus on. So yeah, I think you're right, Dave. You can't really go wrong. It, even if you don't end up becoming a coach as a business, um, you still are going to benefit from the skills. Yes. Absolutely. Because even, you know, for example, if you're a manager and you're the manager in your company that has coaching skills, you're going to be a magnet for the best people. Because the best people want to be around someone who can coach them to even become better and greater in the world at what they're doing. So if you want to be a yeah. magnet for, for good people, learn how to coach. That's really yeah. the thing. You know, the and skills then, are fantastic. Yeah, it's a fantastic are. skill set. And, and you know, Tulane and I have been talking about this for, for such a long time. We've been around. And when we started, there was two schools. And now there's about 400 right? There's a lot yeah. of schools. So why would you come to Coachville? 
it's a it's a it's an important question and i would say the few things that make our school really unique one is we are very focused on creating playfulness because my, in my world, my mind, coaching is about helping someone play better. Like if you have a basketball coach to play basketball better, you have a life coach to play life better. So we are really focused on rekindling our human playfulness. I always say we were born to play, but then we were trained to work. Let's bring back that human playfulness. Because what is it? curiosity, creativity, resourcefulness, re resilience. These are the things human beings need now more than ever. We need our playfulness. So that's the main thing. And then the second thing is we are in our school, we're all about playing together. You're not going to sit by yourself and just figure it out. You're going to be coaching in every class. You're going to be coached in every class. We're all about the co-creative nature of it and that's very important because again in this industrial mindset we were so indoctrinated to well sit by yourself and do your own work but human life is really a co-creation so we really emphasize the playfulness becoming a masterful co-creator and then really the ability to create personal transformation in the moment and that's what we that's what you learn in our school yeah now, one other thing I want to say that I know about Coach Phil that, that Dave hasn't mentioned, but I'm just going to say. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah. But one of the things I, you know, in Coach University, when I was at Coach U with you, when we started out, all the classes were done by phone. Yes. And so there was no, with the video conferencing, we didn't even do that. It was just phone calls. And so we had these teleconferences with everybody mm -hmm. on one line. You'd get 30 people on one call. And we would go around the room and, and conduct the class and be an hour long and there'd be 30 people and we'd all participate at least twice. Yes, right. And it's the leader of that class, you had to manage the flow of that conversation. Yes. So you know, that's how you know, we kind of grew up in the coaching yes. world, right? Yes, yes. What that has trained people to do, and certainly people like me, uh, I can now coach people around the world by phone. I mm -hmm. very rarely meet my clients in person. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. People pick, you know, they find me somehow from some webinar I've done or something, you know, yes. of the book I've written or something. Um, and, and they find me and then they, they want to do coaching. So yes. you don't need to meet people anymore. That's the thing I just want to say. And this coronavirus, you could tell, uh, I just cut my own hair. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> you know, it really needs a trip. This is why we have professionals to do the job. You know? <laughs> anyway, but, um, you know, professional coaches make a difference, you know, and this yes. is the thing. People say, well, couldn't I just get my aunt or my mom or what? No. A yes. professional trained coach provides something very, very different in the conversation. We are trained to deliver the message in the right way, how to give advice in the right way, how to listen in the way that has people want to take forward action. That's and right. I know I'm doing a good job as a coach when my clients come back to me, because I always feel like I never do anything. I don't do anything for my clients. I don't make phone calls for them. I don't write letters for them. I do nothing. Right. Yeah. Right. They and do so it. They, they have to play. They pay me a lot of money <laughs> yes. to do nothing. <laughs> and sometimes I think like I have this really excellent client who's a senior executive. And I thought, gosh, I really haven't done much for her. And she said, are you kidding, Tulane? Mm. You held the space of possibility for me. You held mm -hmm. that so I could move into that space. Yes. And yes. You know, it feels to me like I'm doing nothing. But what I can create because of that coach training is mm -hmm. so powerful and life transforming for people. So yes. if you want to be the kind of person who can take people from where they are now to where they are and hold that space for them mm -hmm. in such a way that they can then step into it and be yes. that person that they want to be. Yes. That is the power. That's of something. Yes. That's something. And that is different when you get an amateur to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't turn out funny. as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great point. And yes, at Coachville, it's a global school. We have people from all around the world. You'll be together on the phone. And luckily for us, the technology has evolved from a lot from, from 25 years ago where you're going to be in a, in a large group class, but then we have small group conversations and dyad breakouts, and it's very dynamic. You'll really get to know people all around the world, and that's, a, that's another big benefit. The community at our school is just amazing because of the way we create the, 
the group and the belonging and the small group dialogues. So yeah, you'll get to know some amazing people as well. So it, oh, you're going to love it. That is one of the favorite bits about coaching that is still the, the, the people that I met in my coach training, I mean, we all, again, nobody ever met each other in person, except when there were animal conferences. We kind of meet people and it was always such a shock. You know? Yeah, like, oh, you're a Chilean. <laughs> That's what you look like. You know? <laughs> people always thought I was a brunette for some reason, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but we, you, you, you would have these bonds with people in the classes. And yes. I went to, one guy I'd never met he sent me thousands of dollars of video equipment so I could do a recording and then trusted me, showed me how to use it all for free. Mm. And then I wow. mailed it back to him. Wow. I just thought, the generosity of the people who are, because coach, let's face it, if you're going to be a coach, you're the kind of person who loves other people to be successful. Yes, you know, correct. You're in a helping profession, right? This yes. is a caring, helping, we want people to be successful. And so yes. uh, the people who are drawn to coaching are those kinds of people. They that's get right. joy and pleasure out of others' success. Yes. So if that's you, then you know this is probably a good profession for you to consider. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. If you're the kind of person who gets annoyed at somebody's success or feels jealous, not a good thing. <laughs> not a good thing. Hundred percent. So Dave, shall we stop there? Um, yes. We could talk all day. Um, for sure. But thank and, you for this conversation. It's been great, and we'd love to have you join us at Coachville. It's Coachville.com. Yeah, get to come and join us. And you can learn a lot more about the program. We have we have programs that are very easy and inexpensive to jump into. We have a more elaborate certification program. We have the full gamut. And in every program, you're going to become a better coach and a better leader at the same time. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate you thank, coming. Thank you, Tulane. It's super fun. <laughs>